other things also. So last session we talked about profiles. So and in profile, what did we see? We uh, saw that uh, we can control permissions to apps, objects, and tabs. So these are the things that we saw uh, in our last session, right? In case you need to control permissions on applications, objects or tabs, you can do it through profiles. Okay. There is one more uh, requirement that a company can have. Okay. Uh, that this requirement is controlling permission to the fields. Uh, what is this field permission? Think for an example. There are certain users, you want them to be able to access certain uh, you know object but one or two fields of that object are uh, you know you don't want them to see that information in that one field let's say uh, we talked about uh, the project object and the client object okay so let's say in the project object we had a field called estimated uh, time we had that field Let's say the company wants uh, their HR people to see the name of the project and the start date, end date, but they don't want them to see only that estimated time field. They just want to hide one field. That is pretty much possible, right? In, uh, in our last session, we were talking about controlling access to the entire object. So not giving access to the entire table. That is one scenario. The other scenario can be they want to give access to the table, but one of the fields in the table they want to restrict. That is possible, right? So, for that what we have to do? We have to define field level security. So, this uh, is called field level security. And this is also done through profile. Let's go and do this. So this is also on profile. Where do you see profile? Under setup, manage users, profiles. Let's take any of the profiles. Okay. So to control the field level security on a profile, you won't need to click on edit. Please don't click on edit. Scroll down a little. Come here to field level security. Okay. In this field level security, you can define access to a particular field also. Like uh, for project we were talking, right? So come to the project object, all the objects are listed. Click on the object. The moment you click on the object, it will show you the list of all the fields there, right? And then you can click on edit and control the access to the field. So estimated time. I don't want this field to be visible. That is what I want, right? So you can remove the access. Or you, if you want, you can make it a read-only field for certain profile. So we have both the options. Either we don't give the access to view the field as well, or we don't give the access to edit the field. Right? So it's pretty similar to the objects uh, thing that we did the other day. But here we are just dealing in an individual field and here it was a complete object for which we were defining the access here so whatever components we had whatever I mean uh, <clears throat> before talking about profiles uh, we talked about uh, the different components of Salesforce right and we designed the data model and we designed the application so whatever components are required for designing the application access can be controlled on everything almost everything right 
so security and access part is applicable on each component of salesforce it can be application it can be a tab object field not just all these things I and mean, other things also when you start creating a report you will need to control access on reports when you start creating your own pages there will be access control on pages so whatever is being created because that that is a kind of requirement they have right so uh, so far we have just talked about these things so that is the reason why i am talking about these so as and when we you know uh, talk about other things i will keep on telling you how the access is uh, control for all those things right so profile thing we have understood now the next requirement so i you know uh, these four things are fine now the next requirement that i have is data access access to these things is fine but what about data access okay let me give you an example let us take a simple example uh let's say you have uh, uh we were talking about projects and clients and consultants right let's say in your company you have 50 clients okay and you have two sales uh, no two project managers okay let's say you have two project managers one one is vijay and other is ajay vijay handles 20 clients and as a handles 30 clients okay owner record owner so ajay is the owner of 30 clients which is the owner of 20 clients now what the company wants they want that ajay should not be able to see these 20 clients which vijay owns and which i should not be able to see these 30 clients that as i owns okay so the company wants to put a restriction that anyone at a project manager level should not be able to see the data of other project manager okay and that's a pretty valid requirement so it it is you know pretty much required in companies uh, think about uh, things like uh, you know when you put i'm just giving you know a couple of examples uh, you are all your you know pto request and all that you put that also goes into some system right your friends do not see that or your colleagues do not see that you see your uh, request or uh, your appraisal details that you put there others do not see it your manager and all might see, uh, see that but uh, others do not see that right so that is pretty much uh, you know possible in this kind of a scenario also when we are talking about crm or any other application there can be a requirement where the business does not want uh, one project manager to see other project managers data or one sales executive to see other sales executive data so now this is where we need to control the data access fine so here we have to control the access to the data because clients all these 50 clients are in this object right so both of them need to have access to clients <coughs> object <coughs> so this object level access will not work here tabs wala thing will not work here because both of them need access to the clients tab both of them need access to the apps both of them need access to the same fields so till here they need same kind of access but the data the records now we are talking about the records the record level access needs to be different so for that what they need to do or what we do in salesforce there is this concept called sharing settings what is sharing settings sharing settings is setup that we do for the sharing of records okay So as I told you, Ajay owns 30 clients. So these 30 clients, who is the owner? Ajay. 
these 20 clients who is the owner vijay right so whether ajay will get to see vijay's record